Okay, we're going to be looking at Adobe Preview. Adobe Preview is a new app or function that Adobe have produced for Creative Cloud um, CC 2015, and it works through Photoshop. Now, what it allows you to do, there's a little icon here on the uh, right here, at the top, and you'll see it just by the swatches, and that is the preview icon for your devices. So you need to activate that to begin with. You also need to download the app from the App Store. Now, unfortunately, it's not available at the moment for Android. It's only available for Apple devices. But once you've downloaded the app, you then plug your devices in using USB cables. Uh, this iMac I'm using here today has four, so I can plug in four devices. Um, so I've got them all lined up and you'll notice here with this one um, it's not full screen because um, you know it's an iPhone 6 so I've just you know got it to pop up full screen so you need to be aware of the resolution Pacific that you're using now the good thing is you can actually uh, scroll up and down on it uh, on these devices and see if you've got a very long image which this is in Photoshop um, so you can scroll uh, up and down on it um, gives you a good idea of how it's going to look. Now, obviously the only issue with this is that they're not um, interactive uh, as you would have if you've done things through Sketch or InVision, you've uploaded them maybe using the Marvel app um, to have them with clickable hotspots on them. But it'll just give you a good idea of as you're working on um, your, your UI or your UI components, how the graphic elements look at smaller sizes or higher or lower resolution. Now the joy of this is, say for example, if you want to change some things around, if I want to come along and say, okay, I'm gonna change this background here in the Ultimate Collection, I can just go in and I can now change that to maybe another color, uh, make it blue, and what will happen when I click okay, uh, you'll see it will, um, update that change on all the devices so so it is really really useful because it seems to happen quite quite quickly there seems to be uh not a lot of latency on it whereas sometimes you know you do have a bit of lag so you know if i wanted to move an element around again it, it, it's able to do that and i can move those around and it'll certainly update them reasonably quickly and i can see how my you know design is changing on the fly as I'm using it. Again, it's only available through Creative Cloud 2015. So if you're a subscriber to Creative Cloud, also um, you will need to have the plugin and on Apple devices um, as it's not currently available on Android. It's now July 2015, might be available later on. And um, the good thing is you can connect using USB cables, which may be able a lot less hassle if sometimes with some of these apps you have to connect over the same IP address and that might be a, an issue if you're inside an institution like a college or a university where you can't get your um, device or your phone on the same um, IP as the machine you're actually uh, using to send it to.